Do you need to change your battery? Yesterday I went to change my battery and broke a few things. So I thought I'd just make this video to show you what to do, how to do it safely, and that way you won't make the mistakes that I did. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't seen it for more videos that you can see to how to do things. And let's get into this straight away so that way we can uh, get this battery in and out and we can do it safely. If you hear any barking during the video, it's because of my lovely puppy Sarge. He's a German Shepherd with a huge play drive. So the tools I'll be using in this video is a 10mm socket with a quarter inch ratchet, a 10mm nut runner, a rubber glove, a 13mm socket with a half inch drive, a 15mm socket with a half inch drive, a a 12 inch extension bar with half inch drive and a ratchet with half inch drive the reason for the rubber glove you have to keep watching and uh, you'll see what it's for so the first thing you want to do is disconnect the negative lug what you want to do is start by removing the connector that's behind what you do is just press down i'm using a screwdriver and just push it away that way that cable is off then I'm going to get a 10mm ratchet and disconnect the connector. It's only a few turns until it's loose. Then once it's loose, just wiggle it off. Once it's off, get the glove that I said that we needed and just slip it over. That way it just isolates it. It's easy to do and it's away. It's not going to get in the way. And you can cable tie it out of the way if you want, but I'm just going to place it back there. Not a big issue. Now we're going to start working on the active terminal. What I'm going to do is just remove this red plastic cover. And it shows you all the terminals that are underneath. I'm going to start by disconnecting this alternator cable. That's now gone. I'm going to work towards the back using a 13mm socket. Let's take this off. Just make sure you put your bolts in a safe space. That's now away. I can remove that cable out of the way. That's disconnected. I'm going to now disconnect the actual terminal itself. So once again, using the 10 mil, just loosen it off enough just so that way it's loose on the terminal. And I'm going to lift it up slightly. And move it away now i'm going to disconnect uh just this little lug at the back so that way i can go further now there's two cables that are on the left hand side i decided to disconnect them yesterday uh i ended up breaking the housing for the fuse because this was too tight you don't need to remove uh, those two cables just leave them uh, connected and just push them to the side and that'll give you access to the battery itself so now the battery is just about to be removed what we're going to do is undo this uh, nut that's down the bottom there's a clamp that holds the battery in place so i'm going to go ahead and remove that i've now uh, loosened that nut off and i'm going to remove it i used the long extension bar while i did it just so that way it's easy to get down there now i've removed the nut i've got to remove this bracket what i'm going to do to loosen up the bracket is i'm just going to get the side of the battery and give it a wiggle and then now that's just loosened up the bracket a little bit. Now I'm going to put my hand to this down there and just jiggle it back side to side and it will come out easy. And that's the bracket out. Now the battery is just about to be fully removed. I'm going to take away this carpet housing. So I just lift it up and around just to get it out of the way. Just going to be gentle with it that you don't damage it. So that's now out of the way. I'll just put that to the side. Now the battery is ready to be moved. So I'll just grab it with both hands, make sure you keep a straight back because it's quite heavy. And I'm going to lift it out. I'm going to show you how heavy this battery is. If you don't lift it correctly, you're going to hurt your back. So make sure you uh, keep a straight back while you're lifting it. And that way you won't injure yourself or use two people. So 
So it's 23.3 kilos. That's quite a significant um, amount of weight if you're lifting it incorrectly. So just make sure you do lift it correctly. In the future, I'm going to be doing a video on how to clean the intake manifold and I'm going to have to remove this bracket to be able to get to it. So you're going to have to know how to remove the battery to be able to clean the intake manifold. And I'm going to show you how to remove the fuse box and the rest of it to be able to remove this bracket. So keep this video in mind. It's going to be helpful. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see how I'm going to clean out the intake manifold. And yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. So now we're going to put the battery back in. What you've got to be mindful of, there's a lip at the back that the battery slides under. So you have to slide the battery in and under so you can get the bracket on at the front. So I'm going to go ahead now and put the battery in. Now I've put it in, I've slid it towards the back so that way the lip catches at the back and I'm going to go put the plate on at the front. Now the plate's on at the front, I'm going to put the nut on and wind it up with the 15mm socket and the extension bar. Now that the battery's back to being secure, I'm going to slide the carpet cover over the top. Now that that's back in place, you want to try and get the battery terminal to connect with the lug. So the easiest thing to do is connect up this small connector first so that way it's out of the way. That's back in. Now I'm going to drag it across and get it back on. So that's now back into position. I'm going to start connecting everything back up. I'm going to start doing up the actual lug itself. Now that's tight and not going anywhere. I'm going to put the bolt on at the back. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more great videos. And I'm going to connect up the alternator cable back to where it was. After you double check to make sure that the positive side is connected, all connected tight, I'm going to put the cover back on and that's the positive side done. Now with the positive side done, we're going to move on to the negative side. So what we're going to do is take up the terminal, remove the glove, connect up this small connector, put that back on, make sure that's tight and secure, give it a bit of a wiggle, run your lead down, and then you'll hear, once you connect up the negative, you'll hear the car make some noises, that's normal. Push it down into place so it's nice and secure, get your 10mm nut, uh, your 10mm ratchet, and tighten it up. You want to make sure your lugs are tight because the last thing you want is them coming off while you're driving. They come off, your car might not start again. Alright, so that's the battery replaced. What we're going to do now is go start the car and make sure it starts properly. Now I'm about to start the car. We're going to see if any error messages pop up. No error messages, so we're all good. It's just saying my bonnet's open, but that's okay. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my other content, and make sure you share this with your friends and family so that way they can change their battery safely too. Thanks for watching.